Hello traders and welcome to this week's trading setups breakdown video. I'm really grateful to have you on my channel as always and I'm really grateful for all of your comments, all of your love that you're leaving on this channel. So thank you so much and I'm really happy most importantly that you continue finding value from the channel and I promise to provide even more in the upcoming weeks. Currently I'm really working on uh, refining and revamping my whole program. I'm gonna show you more details very very soon. Very excited about this but to get actually into the video, this week we had some amazing opportunities across all currency pairs, uh, especially on the majors. EU was the most textbook of them all, AU was fine, GU was also great this week, but in this video we're gonna focus on EU because this is my main pair that I focus on and we literally crushed it with the community. I'm not really happy about my performance because I missed a lot of trades due to distraction on some of the pairs I actually hesitated on, I think it was on Wednesday, so of course I'm going to be extremely transparent with you. I'm going to show you my mistakes, my successes as well, so you can, of course, learn from that. And then I'm also going to show you how the community looks like and how we keep crushing it together. So make sure to stick up until the end, all right? So we have a lot of work to do, so let's not waste any time and get into it. Alright, let's get into it. So first of all, I would love to drop a little full hourly analysis. And again, I'm sure you have watched the weekly outlook. The expectations were pretty simple. From the past week, we had this massive drop to the downside. So it's very simple market structure. Again, what we need to see is the market to pull back. As I told you, towards the 50% and probably to tap something right here on the left. So what we had, which was pretty tricky, we had a lovely longing Monday. I'm going to show you all the opportunities that were taken towards the upside, towards this 50%. Then we started consolidating right there on Tuesday. We had a couple of shorts right there. Then Wednesday, we basically had the news day, I believe. We spiked into the lows. Then we actually spiked into the highs during the uh, FOMC and the interest rate decision. And then on Thursday, it was a day uh, without trades, actually, because we just opened the market and we just flushed without a stop. And today, Friday, also we nailed a very nice short trade. And basically, the targets were to achieve this low. This low was achieved actually on the 4th of November. And right now, potentially, I do expect this low to be taken on NFP. And then even this biggest low right there. Because again, the market is in a downtrend. This was a lower high on the daily and on the weekly and nothing can stop us on the way to the downside. So as you can see, the focus was shorts this week, but right now I'm gonna show you how you can definitely flow with the market and execute on more setups rather than just shorts. So let's start with Monday, okay? So basically what we had on Monday, I'm gonna start from the 15 minute because uh, one of my rules for, um, like for the 15 minute entries is saying that I need to see a 15 minute break of structure when I'm actually looking for counter trend trades. Okay, so this is the first actually getaway that you can get from this video. If you're having a huge lower low on the full hourly, wait for the market to shift either on the 30 or on the 15 minutes perfectly. Okay, so what we have if we just zoom in, if we, if we just start following structure, we have this bullish candle. It's not the perfect right but it kind of created a lower high then we jumped in for a lower low we pulled back we actually wicked above it but then we broke it okay with a confirmation of a body close above then the market opens up a new week asian session looks very nice kind of to the downside and then all of a sudden during asia we very sharply push into the highs okay and we also broke the asian high so what happened right there is that um, i was still kind of uh, waking up still analyzing the market but my community already striked on this one so basically the first trade for the week for us was this one the majority of the community took this one it was slightly aggressive and not according to my rules because again it was actually before london open and it was still kind of within this range so i wasn't really sure but of course as you're gonna see we're not just limited to one opportunity and if you cut this one from the bottom right there and of course if you trust your analysis and if you really think that the mark is going to reach 50 percent you nail around let's say 26 to 25 bar but of course this is not the case to showcase ours because if you don't take the trade then you should not uh kind of yeah show it because this is what the majority of the guys are actually doing uh then what we have actually is a 15 minute break on the left right there this broke structure into the highs 
And then what we had is simply just following the bullish momentum. We know that the market is retracing towards that level. We created a lower low. We had shifted. So our only focus goes towards going long. Okay. And then, of course, if we drop to the one minute to actually have a look how we can approach this. And if I remove it, so there is the first entry. It was quite aggressive into the zone. So definitely aggressive right there. And as you can see, it actually happened just five minutes before London Open. And then boom, London opens, bang, into the highs. So first of all, I was actually considering a long around this area, but it wasn't that clear. At that time, I had a break and I wanted to see a retest back into this area in order to then take a long. So I actually missed on this one, but some of the guys took it from my team. They're nowadays becoming much better than me, to be honest. I'm really proud of them. And then we started generating this sort of price action. And this is another mistake that I did this week. So we had this kind of uh, range. And then as the market was getting down right there, it was already getting into my hours that I don't want to trade. Um, but what happened is we failed to make a new high right there. We kind of tried to push up, tried to push up, sold off, buy, sell, lower high, boom, big lower low. So I was like, okay, cool. Well, I'm not going to enter aggressively from there, which was definitely a trade according to my rules. We have uh, three setups that I teach in the program, and this is one of them. So this one should have been executed by me. Uh, but then what the market decides to do, it continues to break, continues to break, continues to break, comes to retest this area, and we just then started to flow to the upside. And this is around um, New York session. We kind of started to chop around. Then what happens is we came back right there. Basically, some traders got stopped at our break even, which is very fine. And at that moment right there, I wasn't at the chart. It was uh, two, uh, around 3.30. Uh, yeah, 3.20 right there around this time. But what we have is, again, if we trust in this setup, if we trust in the longs, the market came back inside. And what we simply do is we just follow structure. Okay. So let's analyze. We have a lower low, lower high right there, lower low, lower high, lower low, almost. We almost made a low. And then we have this very nice expansion into the upside. So then actually in hindsight, I analyze this in hindsight. I'm not really sure if I were, if I was at the charts, if I would have taken that trade because for me, yes, this was a lower high formation and it was broken, but we very nicely respected this high, okay? But I do think I would have taken this one because simply again, the last lower high was this one. Why? Because this is the low, this is the high that broke this low. So this is the major lower high on the one minute, broke up, retested, and then we went into the highs. Again, my rules are saying I always take a big partial at uh, one, to, 1 to 5 or 1 to 6. So there would have been a potential big partial. And then, of course, for the remaining of, of the day, I think this one peaked at around, yeah, 13 R. And yeah, I can show you testimonials of uh, the community taking those trades, but I'm not going to go into it because it's Monday and I have to scroll up too much. So this is basically Monday. As you can see, we formed this low, we shifted a 15 minute and we trade towards the 50%, which is right there. And then on Tuesday, if I just uh, delete the price action on Monday right now, and if we toggle Tuesday, let's see what actually happens. Uh, let me probably delete it up until Thursday, uh, Wednesday, like that. Cool. Very beautiful delivery right there. What the only doubt was uh, for me and my team was that we kind of had this 50%. And as you can see, we did we really tap it? Well, not really. Okay, we just kissed it by a little. And of course, we were looking for a higher level. I think uh, the majority of us were looking for this level to get tapped right there because it's a lower high that created a massive lower low. Okay, so simply like this, reacting from the middle, it didn't make too much sense, but the setup was there. Man, I have a lot of drawings right there. But basically, let's analyze what happens. On Monday, during the evening, we started forming those flat highs. And you see me talk a lot about flat highs. This is a concept that I utilize a lot in my trading. I might do a video, but I explain it in detail in my program as well. But basically, we went above those flat highs, which are usually targeted as liquidity, stop losses, buy stops, everything is above. And then you can see around London Open, we had a very sharp reaction to the downside that broke this structure right there, right? Then we created a pullback. And then we broke down again. So I don't want to say that it's a mistake uh, fr from my side. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically what I considered right there is this to be my major lower high. Why? Because we pushed, 
we pulled back this move to the downside did not really break the structure then we actually created a lower high and then we created a lower low okay so for me this bullish candle or this zone was the area where i was looking for a trade and then actually during new york i was busy those days around uh, from two to around four i was busy so i couldn't really trade and then we basically have this extreme this is really the extremist part that actually took those flat highs and flushed to the downside so i'm gonna show you how even if you have a break even trade or a loss you can just continue striking okay so if I just zoom out on the one minute, it might look a little bit more complex. But again, guys, I never stay on the one minute just like that. Everything is built up first from the four hourly, the hourly, the 15 minute, and only then I drop to the one minute and my entry setups are very easy, right? So basically there is that area that I told you about. It broke structure. And right now we pull back into this refined area right there. We just step inside. You can also take an aggressive entry from there. I didn't. And what I wait for is, of course, for my entry to set up. And of course, this is my higher low, which made a higher high. We tapped inside. We reacted from it, but we did not continue higher. And then we broke it with a little wick. And then, of course, this for me was a break because on the one minute, I have a specific rule about that. I also consider wicks as breaks. And then we pulled back into my entry. So I took a trade from right there and uh, then i was just monitoring it right there i spotted this little higher low demand it was really choppy towards that level and as i saw then this kind of delivery which i also taught in my supply and demand video we have this kind of range the market manipulates and then it starts to pump up so after i saw this i went break even and this was a break even trade for me then i started looking for further shorts but i just couldn't see them the market went all the way up formed this high actually wicked above this high right there and then i was just looking for the shift but it just wasn't clean right there i couldn't form a clear i couldn't find a clearing setup i couldn't find a lower high to enter from so i just skipped this one and then there is my textbook setup which i missed again uh, this was 220 the other one was uh, 320 i couldn't trade at that hour so basically yeah, we had uh, this level we tap inside what we have again guys is the same thing we have the range the market manipulates above the range and then it's all about you finding your entry if we again zoom in this is a high this is a higher low potentially but what happens after a higher high we should break above did we break above no what does that create mss formation right this is also taught in my uh free market structure mastery course and then we just created a lower low which is beautiful you found your entry point which is right there for me stop loss above 3.6 and of course, 5R was at the lower demand right there that I didn't mention, but this is a 15 minute demand that we potentially expect a reaction from. So there is your 5R. Uh, I missed this one. And then basically I, I was at the charts right there and I was just spectating this one. So I did not take this one. I saw some of my members actually took it. They've been killing it, but this one was quite nasty because again, this is still according to our rules. If you have a look again, we had a fake, we had a break to the downside little bit of flat highs right there tap stop loss goes above and again if i'm completely honest if i took that trade we also had a webinar yesterday with the community dis discussing all of those trades and their trades as well i would have placed it like this because on average my stop loss goes from two to to four and the 2.5 is the mostly used stop loss that i do and right here it's two pips above the high if i give it a little bit more it would have been 2.5 2.6 yeah i'm not sure for more but probably I would have been stopped out on this one if I took it, but I didn't. This one is a bit too late and I don't trade usually after four. Okay, so basically for me this week, New York session was a no-go. Uh, but this is Tuesday again. So this is the trade that I took during London session, uh, break even. Then this is the real banger for Tuesday. Okay, so hopefully you are learning and seeing how all of those entries are just repeating themselves over and over. Then we're having Wednesday. So the market at that point kind of made that push lower and we started creating this choppiness right there, which was not really nice. So let's examine that actually what is happening on the 15. If you remember, so this is yesterday's delivery right here. This is where I took my short, lost it, and this is the real short. We actually later had a pullback. This is the stop loss of my members right there. And then we continued and we broke structure below, okay? And then we had this lower high that acted as supply. So what happened right here is we wake up in the morning and uh, I see some people starting to take shorts from right there. But I mentioned, no, guys, we wait for the market to get into this area. And every day I also share a data analysis. I'm going to show you later. So this was the level that we expected to actually get into. 
the market gets inside it okay and let me show you what happens at that point this is where i actually learned another lesson is that i'm too perfect with my rules and sometimes i just need to relax a little bit and just make sure that i get an entry okay so what we have right here is a very tricky situation so there is the market tapping inside we had a range a very sharp move into the highs and a very sharp recovery so usually when you see this it means manipulation and it means a creation of a kind of a stronger high okay because if you see a high like this a flat high it usually gets taken but if you see a high like that it's usually strong okay so this is your next takeaway from this video uh, then after I saw the structure break, we were analyzing it live with the community. I said, yes, guys, I have my limit set right there. Stop loss is above. Okay. But then what the market did, it consolidated and it broke structure lower. Okay. And then I'm like, well, okay, so should I take a trade from right here? At that moment, I didn't want to take it from there because to me, these highs were pretty flat right there. So if we drop to the seconds, this one is going to be really flat. And uh, I wanted to enter from here, but then my stop loss should go like this. And six pips is not a stop loss that I use. Okay, so basically I did not take this trade. But then in hindsight, if I took it like this with two pips, allowing a larger kind of buffer above those highs, maybe if they get taken out like this, then that would have been the trade. And it was a pretty quick. Again, depending on the stop loss, you could have nailed a 5R with a 2.5, which is really good. But I did not take this trade. Uh, then I do believe I took this one, uh, if probably I'm gonna mention the MT4 stats, uh, why? Because again we made a lower low, then we pull back into this level again and this time this becomes a lower high, why? Because we simply broke the low and at that point coming back at this level becomes kind of invalid, okay? Then this one tapped, cool, stop loss, we shifted the downside but then what happens again? Demand got, gets respected and all of a sudden, bang, break even. Okay, I did not want to hold this because I'm like, cool, well, maybe we're going to come and retest a little bit higher. And I'm usually quite aggressive with my break evens. And I actually suffered from that today on Friday, which we're going to see a bit later. Uh, then I was monitoring for this one. But again, this one did not tick my rules. Why? Where is your higher low, guys? So this one was a break even. Where is our higher low? It's this one. Push, pull back, push. Okay. I want to see a break, either a body or a weak break, and we did not have the break, okay? So basically, for me, the higher low was respected. So I did not enter this trade because I simply listened to my rules, okay? So that one was a pretty quick as well. There is another 6R. So as you can see, this one is 6, this one is 6, this one is break even. This day, Wednesday, was actually very choppy, but we had a lot of opportunities. And then this is the trade again. You can see 2 o'clock. This is when I'm not trading this week. And uh, yes, what we had is the market pulling back again into this area where I at first wanted to take a trade, but right now it was a confirmed one. So I should have just set a limit right there. Where is our higher low? Push, pull back, higher low, higher high, pull back, failure to make a new high, boom, lower low. Absolutely textbook setup right there and my community smashed this one. So basically if you take it from there, your stop loss goes above the high, which is 2.7, 2.8, whatever. And you just ride it into the downside. The peak was at uh, 8, but again, the majority of our profits are going to go right there at 6R. And maybe even if you start seeing the double bottom, you just close the trade, okay? So this is Wednesday, guys. If you can see overall choppiness right there, but opportunities are raining every single day. So hopefully, again, you learned something from that. Then on Thursday, uh, Thursday was really boring, to be honest. So what happened later is we had the FOMC, which I'm not going to cover because I don't trade that stuff. And this time we actually went above the 50%. Have a look, there is 50%. We actually tapped above it. But this is Asian session. So as you can see, uh, let me pull it out. This is Asian session. It's even not correct, I think. Yeah, because of daylight savings. But even before Asia, we just consolidated. Asia opens, big pump. London opens, big pump. All right. So this is one of the days that you just do not get a confirmation entry, right? It just keeps flushing to the downside. So what we did uh, with some members is uh, we kind of got bored. But very fortunately, I realized myself at the right time. Uh, it was really stupid. Of course, there, there was something on the left. So basically what we try to do is to catch the bottom and to try to catch a reversal towards this level right there where we later had the community take shorts. Again, why I missed it. It's 220. 
um let's see so yeah what we did right there the market was tapping into demand and we started seeing a little shift so this is a really FOMO trade and i knew this when i was entering it <laughs> and i entered it from right there and they just went into stop loss range pull back went in again i'm not sure how i survived this one my broker has zero spread so i survived and then I just clicked in my head, uh, brother, this is not a trade that you should be taking. So as the market pushed up, I closed the break even, as you're probably going to see on the MT4 stats. Then it hit stop loss, pull back again. And then, yeah, this was just a no trade. OK, then a trade that happens again a little bit later that I missed is uh, this one. So what we have on this one is a better confirmation is we had a 50 minute break. So as you can see, this was the 50 minute lower high, lower low. We actually spiked above it. And then we provided the entry. And if I jump on the one minute, you're going to see uh, this push, this pullback. Then there is the break, the actual break. There is the 50 minute break. There is a confirmation as well on the one minute. And there is your pullback right there. So this is the trade stop loss below and targets into that most recent supply. Uh, then I was actually at that day, I was looking at the phone and I actually had a limit right there but unfortunately the market i think i had a tighter stop was like that but unfortunately then i saw again where is my higher low this one was good little candles we had a break and then we actually closed below this one which was my confirmation and i was looking at those flat highs right here and i was ready for them to be taken out and to get involved in the trade but unfortunately the market just continued to drop lower and it went for a lower low which would have been the target Okay, so this was basically Thursday, a massive drop, uh, not really a lot of confirmation provided. Maybe you can just do trend following right there, but it's not something that I like doing as the market is really extended. And then we had a, um, this break even, which was a loss for some of the community. And then we have this long and then this short. So again, textbook delivery this week. And then Friday, which was uh, really sad for me. Let me see if I can delete this thing right there where is friday so we had on friday again everything is shared in the morning analysis we were looking to trade from uh, this big level right there uh asian range was also really flat where is my asian range it was looking really good where is it yep so there is the asian range and pretty much we had this overall consolidation right there and uh yes yeah, so the market opens and comes inside and as it comes inside we are ready to strike we're already calling the setups live in the chat and uh, basically this one is very simple very straightforward again the market is moving in an uptrend we have a tap in our area higher high break of the higher low uh, of the sorry this is a higher low creates a higher high we break the higher low which is an invalidation pull back lower high push lower so on this one some uh, some of my guys took it from here which was an absolute sniper we had one with uh, with a really tight stop uh, but I took it from right here so basically what I did is I waited for the market to shift and then as it was pulling back I took it from this candle right there so I think my entry is around right there you're gonna see my mt4 stats as well stop loss was above right here and uh, yeah then it kind of gave us a little bit of a headache but it then started flowing down but then usually my rule says uh, when I see the market pull away from my entry and start making lower highs and lower lows, well, I don't expect it to pull back that much. At first, I put my stop because I knew that this one was right here, my major lower high. So I put my stop loss above it. Then I decreased it to right there. And then as the market reached this low right there, I actually went break even just to secure the risk and again to just uh, go do something else. And uh, yes, to my biggest um, unfortunate it tagged me out at the break even and then of course went to targets my full targets would have been right there below this low and of course right now we're just rolling towards uh, this big low right there almost reaching right there for a massive 13 rnr but this for me was a break even which was a really bad way to end well it's not bad it's break even it's not a loss but it's a really sad way to end the friday okay so guys, as you can see, those are the setups for this week. I tried to keep it brief, to keep it short, just to, to tell you the simplified strategy that we have as well. And I'm really kind of eager to show you right here in the community as well. Uh, we have Darius hitting uh, 11R this week, 5.5%. There is the EU trade from Jimmy. Uh, Walter is entering right there. There is a, this trade. He actually got it with a one pip stop loss. So this trade, I don't want to say the risk to the word that we have. 10R right there for Diego. 
for Havao we have around, yeah, I'm not sure, but we basically call them before they happen. And this is a code in the uh, morning analysis right there. So every single morning around uh, Frankfurt Open or before Frankfurt Open, you're going to be receiving daily analysis every day. And then, of course, we jump uh, live to trade right there in the chats. And what we also have is let's chat and trade where sometimes we just uh, jump live as well and uh, just trade on the go. OK, so make sure that you consider joining us because very soon everything is going to get revamped. A lot of new stuff is incoming and I'm really excited about it. All right. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did. What did you extract mostly? Do you have any suggestions for me? Do you learn something make sure to comment and i wish you an amazing friday be careful with nfp because it's incoming and uh yes talk to you on saturday for the weekly outlook and setups